Lunar Sabbath. What is it and why is it dangerous? And like most things, when we come to faith, we have learned that there's all these deceptions out there in everything, and we start looking for more deceptions, and we will, will kind of fall in with certain people. Now, in one sense, Lunar Sabbath is only going to be followed by somebody who says, I want to follow the actual Sabbath. And you would think, okay, that's at least good. And the problem there is they get hung up on one verse where it says we go from moon, new moon to new moon. And so because of that, there's the lunar Sabbath idea is, okay, what we're going to do, um, the cycle between moons is 29.5 days. We're going to force it to work because for doing the weeks and Sabbath, which have to cycle within 28 days. So we're one and a half days off, but that's okay. We'll just rename things. We'll make mistakes, and we'll go that way. That's where the real problems come in. And why do I say it's a problem? For a number of reasons. One, so here's, here's what they do for a lunar Sabbath, and I'll use this repeatedly. As you can see, the first day of the month, they say, that's the new moon. And then they count eight days from there, and they say that that is Sabbath. Well, what they try to say is, we don't count the new moon day. Because, you know, God took eight days to, cr to create the, everything. Um, no, he took seven days, not eight. You don't just take this new moon and switch it out there. But they have to, just because they don't understand why things go from new moon to new moon, and because of that, they force everything to try to fit, even though there's no chance of it fitting. It doesn't fit at the beginning, and it doesn't fit at the end, because half the months have 30 days. And so, when that hits on the 30th day, what do you do there? Well, that that week has nine days. or And so, I didn't know that the creator took nine days to create the universe, but that's what they think of. They say, it's okay because we just, there, there's these other days, we, we, we're okay with just making a mockery of this. And that's actually what it is, and that's why it's there, that's why it's dangerous, because it does make a mockery, because now they've added eight days, then they go to seven days, then they can go to nine days every other month. And in the event that the new moon is not seen because let's assume that it is bad weather all of a sudden we could have 10 days in a week you know you can you could actually really follow this out to where the natural conclusion is and get it really bad um, and because of bad weather you could easily have um, a, a month that will be 31 days and so again where do we start putting these things The other issue is, why is this incredibly dangerous? First, they are at least trying to follow the Sabbath. And most of those who are in that, they are trapped. They are trapped among the weeds. The weeds are trying to choke them and kill them. But the people, they're, they don't know they're being choked and killed. And that creates the problem. Because we leave for Exodus on Passover they will do their Passover the following day, and therefore they will miss it. And this is why. Let's look at the, the map again. okay? Because again, it would start on that first day of the first month, but they don't even count that as a day. So because of that, they say day one doesn't start until the second, so that they can try to equalize things. Because of that, they would not do Passover on the 14th, they would do it on the 15th of each month. Because new moon is just a new moon, we don't have to worry about that. Okay. Now, should they actually do Passover with everyone else and do it on the 14th, then they can leave. Again, they didn't know they were being choked with the weeds. And when we go back, it will be very quickly dealt with because somebody's going to be killed and um, stoned to death 
for violating Sabbath. Probably going to be somebody with new moon, but it could be somebody for something else. It could be somebody who thinks they can cook on Sabbath. It only takes one. And everybody wakes up immediately and says, I just saw somebody die. He isn't playing around. I'm fixing this. So if you can get to the Exodus, which is the key, if you can get to the Exodus this way, it's okay. It'll be fixed and you move forward. Now, when I say they don't understand, what are they not understanding? And that is Numbers 28, the food sacrifices. Because we go for food that we offer to the Messiah is based upon uh, certain days. On the set, uh, he gets a morning and evening sacrifice. Um, that's a very common issue. He gets a morning and evening sacrifice. At the end of the morning, and evening, that's every single day. At, in the morning and at three o'clock in the evening, he gets a sac He gets his, his second lamb. He gets that with uh, bread. He gets it with wine. He gets it with oil. He has a very specific thing. This is what I want to eat every single day. That we sacrifice, and hopefully that goes up, and he's able to basically transfigure that, eat it in heaven. Great. On Sabbath, that's a double meal. On a new moon, it is a monster feast. Okay. That same monster feast hits on Passover and on the Festival of Weeks. And without saying it, it would obviously hit on trumpets as well because trumpets is a new moon. So let's go over what would be. Because remember, this is a monstrosity amount of food he eats on a new moon. It's his biggest feast. <clears throat> Two bulls. One ram. Seven lambs. Okay. Then when you go through all that, um, he also has, um, I know there's another, I was thinking there's another goat in there. Anyway, so he has a monster amount of wine, a monster amount of bread, and a monster amount of oil that goes with that. Um, but that is the new moon sacrifice. It is a monster feast for our Messiah, sorry, for our Creator. And so <clears throat> that's what they don't see. They just kind of lock themselves into this verse that says you go from new moon to new moon, and they think, okay, and from uh, Sabbath to Sabbath, and they don't realize they're, they're trying to force the Sabbath into the new moons. It doesn't fit. And he specifically made it so it wouldn't fit, so you wouldn't get confused this way. That's why the Creator made it this way. If he would have made it the, the moon to, to go around and do it every 28 days, this would be so logical. But he didn't. And if he did it 29 days, maybe you could pull a little bit and say, you know, I possibly, maybe I'm missing something here. But when you get to 30, you're making a mockery of it. And so I don't think, again, the way they're doing their count, because they are discounting the first day, and not even counting that as day one for the week, it's a very questionable issue of when they will do and hold their Passover. If they're holding it on the 14th, 14th day after seeing the new moon, they'll be okay. If they hold it on the 15th, because they're off a day, they're left behind. So it's very dangerous.